the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equations. Remember that x sub 1 is equals to negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and the x sub 2 is equals to negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. To find the sum, we need to add the x sub 1 and the x sub 2. That is, sum is equals to x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And to find the product, is equals to the x sub 1 times x sub 2. Resulting to, kapag i-times natin or kapag i-add natin, the resulting to, the sum is equals to negative b over a, and the product is p is equals to c over a. Yan ang mga gamit natin na formula. Okay, like for example, find the sum and product of the roots of 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equals to 0. Okay, i rewrite natin yung given problem that is 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equals to 0. Ngayon, i-identify natin ang a that is 2, then b that is 8, and c is equals to negative 10. Then, i-apply na natin yung formula natin on finding the sum and product. For sum, sum is equals to negative b over a. Then, i-substitute natin yung mga variable natin dito sa mga given. Then, negative. Okay, yung hindi natin doon is positive 8. Kung negative 8 yan, therefore, lagyan ko ng negative 8. Since positive, nagiging 8 na siya, negative 8. Then, our A is 2. Then, S is equals to negative 8 divided by 2 is equals to negative 4. Ito na ang ating sum. Then, for product, B is equals to C over A. Our product is equal to C over A. Then, substitute natin. Our C is negative 10. And our A, or the value of A is 2. Then, the product is equal to negative 10 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1. Ito na natin. Okay, pwede rin natin i-rewrite ang ating equation or hanapin ang equation given ang roots. So, for example, ito number 1, itong number 2. Write a quadratic equation given the roots 5 and negative 2. Okay, yung roots natin is, ibig sabihin, yung x sub 1 natin dyan is positive 5 and x sub 2 is equal to negative 2. Okay, ibabalik natin doon. Ito yung sagot doon natin, doon sa solving quadratic equation. Ibabalik natin sa equation. Yung equation naman ang kinahanap dito. Kaya ang gawin natin, x, ito, ilipat natin doon, magiging negative 5 is plus 2, 0. Dahil ito naman ay magiging positive 2 is plus 2, 0. Then, I times natin itong dalawa. Then, equate natin sa 0. Then, x minus 5 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then, by FOIL method, we have x times x is equal to x squared. Then, x times 2 is equal to positive 2x. Then, negative 5 times x is equal to negative 5x. Then, negative 5 times 
2 is equal to negative 10 which is equal to 0 then combining like terms ito magka pariwa sila ng term lahat pariwa sila ng variable at saka pariwa ang exponent kaya like terms ang tawag natin dyan pwede i-combine then x squared i-combine natin i plus magkaiba ang kailang sign therefore i minus natin since ang malaking number natin dito na 5 is negative at saka yung maliit naman is positive mag negative yan then i minus na natin 5 minus 2 is plus 2 3 then x minus 10 is equals to 0 this is now the answer the quadratic equation of the roots 5 and negative 2 is x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equals to 0 okay number 3 example write the quadratic equation with the sum and product 8 and 12 respectively okay kanina yung sa number 2 na ano natin na, na example natin ang given is yung kanyang roots madali lang yun ibabalik sa quadratic equation pero ito mas madali ito kapag given ang sum and product okay isolve natin the sum is equals to 8 and the product is 12 okay kapag given ang sum at saka product madali lang natin yan susol gamit ang ating formula ang gagamitin natin na formula ay x squared minus the sum that is b over a x then plus yung product natin that is c over a which is equals to 0 okay ito yung ating formula tandaan ninyo kapag given ang sum at saka ang product ganito ang gagawin ninyo then isubstitute na lang natin we have Okay, isubstitute natin x squared minus yung 8 natin doon, 8 over 1, it is understood na mayroong 1, therefore, yung a natin is also 1. Then, 8 over 1, x plus, it is understood na mayroong 1, tandaan yung denominator is, that yan ang ating a, bali na ating a. Then, 12 over 1, is equals to 0. Then, tanggalin na natin yung 1. Like, o, oh, i-simplify natin. x squared minus 8 divided by 1 equals 8x then plus 12 divided by 1 equals 12 which is equals to 0. This is now the answer. Okay, another example. Gawin natin yung video complicated ng konti. Okay, the same ang given. Right? The quadratic equation. Ang pinalitan ko lang ay yung number. Right? The equation or quadratic equation with the sum and product 4 over 7 and negative 3 over 49 respectively. Okay. Ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. The sum is equals to 4 over 7 and the product is Negative 3 over 49. Then, ano nga yung formula natin? That is, x squared minus b over a, x plus c over a is equals to 0. Then, isubstitute na natin. That is, x squared minus yung b over a natin ay nandito. Then negative, positive, positive times negative, magiging negative, therefore 4 over 7x. Then ito naman negative times positive, magiging negative. Then 3 over 49 is equals to 0. Then, it plus or it ganun natin, i-simplify natin ito. I-minus natin, o oh, minus. Then what is the? Less common denominator. It, it's why it is understood na meron 1. 
the less common denominator is 49. Kasi yung 49, pwede i-divide ng 49. Yung 49, pwede i-divide ng 7. At saka pwede rin siya i-divide ng 1. Then, 49 times 1. Ay, 49 divided by 1 times x squared is equals to 49x squared. Then, minus 49 divided by 7 equals 7 times 4 equals 28x. Then, minus 49 divided by 49 equals 1 times 3 is equals to 3 which is equals to 0. Then, if cross multiply natin dahil 1 term na lang sila. Kanina, hindi pa tayo pwede mag cross multiply dahil hindi pa sila 3 terms pa sila. 1, 2, 3. Pero pa sila 3 terms. Ngayon, isang term na lang sila dahil dito sa ating long division bar. Kaya, if cross multiply na natin doon. Then, 49 x squared minus 28 minus 3 no, 28 x minus 3 is equals to 49 times 0 is equals to 0. This is now the equation. I hope meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. And good luck.